Giant goldfish in Alberta waterways have prompted an awareness campaign. The giant fish include Prussian carp. They're multiplying quickly, and it's feared they'll disrupt fragile ecosystems. Kate Wilson joins us now from Edmonton. She's a specialist in invasive water species. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on the line this morning. You're welcome. So, Kate, when was it you know, realized, anyway, on behalf of authorities that this was a big problem? Yeah, so we've really been ramping up our efforts here to prevent uh, aquatic invasive species from coming in, and we've really been focusing on zebra and quagga mussels that have not been detected in Alberta waters. Um, we passed some really great legislation. We have mandatory boat inspections on all major highways coming into the province. And so I think what's happening is people are getting more aware that aquatic invasive species pose really great threats to our environment and sometimes economy as well. And so as a result, we get more reports of things people are are finding now in the water and some of them are quite weird. So when you're talking about the aquatic you know, species that you mentioned, I mean we had, we mentioned goldfish and Prussian carp, is that what we're talking yeah, about? So that's what's, yeah, exactly, that's what's happening. So because of these other efforts though, I think that's why we're getting more reports across the province now uh, of goldfish in the water. So we really knew about a couple of ponds here and there, like golf course ponds, kind of isolated. And what's happened is in the last few months, we've been getting calls from as far south as Lethbridge near the U.S. border, all the way up to Fort McMurray. So you know, we're, we're hearing, you know, some of them are eight inches, some of them are, you know, quite wide as well. These guys, and, and I mean, just in terms of the carp and the goldfish, I guess they're pretty hardy that they'd be able to adapt that quickly from, you know, a domestic fishbowl or tank into a, a, a pretty cold ocean or waterway, I should yeah, say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's what's so concerning is, um, you know, these um, the fish that were pulled out of the stormwater pond in Fort McMurray last year were actually uh, four age classes, the quite large one you see the size of a dinner plate. Um, once released from your small aquarium, a lot of these species can get quite large because they're not constrained by the size of the tank and they have lots of space and food in nature, right? So uh, yeah, some will get quite large and uh, the Fort McMurray example, four age classes, that suggests that they're breeding in the wild, surviving the winter in Fort Mac, which uh, would probably be difficult for some people, let alone a mm. domestic goldfish. Uh, so it, it really is um, becoming an issue. Yeah, and tell me about why it's an issue. Tell me about the, the, the ecosystem and what happens when this is going on. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say exactly what the impacts of this particular species might be on our native uh, fish and critters in the water, but certainly when uh, people are, are dumping their aquariums, they can release a whole host of things into the environment that don't belong there. There's diseases and parasites in the water. Um, a lot of the plants like Eurasian milfoil, hydrilla, Brazilian elodea, these are all highly invasive aquatic plants um, that are often spread by people dumping their aquariums. Uh, but the fish themselves, even if they don't survive, like it's a really cruel thing to do to your pet mm. uh, because it will probably die a horrible death. But some of them are so robust that they will survive and they will actually do uh, potential, potentially huge damage to our ecosystem and our native species. Okay. Uh, we know goldfish in this case are many species of carp. They can eat other fish, eggs, uh, plants, and algae, so they could be direct competition for food. Um, we just really don't want to see them breeding in the wild like this. Yeah. And uh, certainly we want the message to get across that it's it's not only illegal to dump your aquarium into water, uh, but it's also just not a good thing to do for a whole host of reasons. Right, right. Okay, good. Kate Wilson, thank you for joining us. You're welcome.